Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here. Thank you so much to watching my videos. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a setup for my bullet journal. In this case, it's gonna be the February setup, which is inspired in Studio Ghibli, uh, some of the characters, some of the movies. So let's get started. For this first page, actually I wanted to make these spreads for this month a little bit more small because I think like February is a small month. So I decided to make the month page into the right side and then into the left side all the days of the month. So everything will be combined in just two pages. So I'm drawing right now a Haku from Spirit Away. I don't know if you guys watched the movie or not. And it took me a long time to draw, so I actually just, again, I'm gonna cut some footage and gonna make it a little bit faster for you guys so you guys don't get a little bit bored of watching um, all my videos. So this is Haku, and then I decided not to paint any of the drawings that I'm gonna be making today since it, I think I'm gonna be writing a lot of words around it later on, so it's gonna be too much in one page. Um, so I'm gonna be adding two different colors for this journal this time that is gonna be this kind of like light brown pinky kind of looking color and then in the top I'm gonna be adding some dark uh, gray so I'm gonna be keeping this theme of like some characters from the movie and also some circles around the spreads as I mentioned in any other videos all the products or the I don't know stationery that I'm gonna be using in every single of my bullet journals are gonna be in the description box uh, there are some links from different companies there is Amazon there is just a style of course I'm gonna get a small commission if you guys purchase using my link but it's not gonna be extra cost to you but I'm gonna list all the products all the pens and everything down there so just go and check it out after okay I don't know if you guys notice uh, but I tried to do like a combination this time of like normal lettering that is the normal alphabet and also try to add some kanjis uh, to make a team looking like a little bit more like Japanese but at the same time so western style uh, my kanjis my writing is not the best because uh, I don't know I just write ugly kanjis but I tried to add that and also I tried to use some washi tapes that you guys can see in here to make it a little bit more, I don't know, pop up and pretty. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about washi tapes. So let's move into the next spreads. So for this one, I'm gonna be doing trackers, tracking my time that I'm being sleepy, uh, my goals, tracking every other different thing like headaches and stuff. And in this one, I'm drawing the Kodama spirits from Princess Mononoke, and they are pretty cute. So all these like characters that I'm using in these spreads are because I like them or because like people actually told me to draw them. For example, the dust like bunnies and also like no face i really love no face so this one i showed it myself but i asked on instagram and many people told me like which one were their favorite characters so i used them as inspiration for this journal and if you guys don't follow me in instagram you can go and follow me is what i be studies and i usually like talking there like every day and post every day about journaling and stuff I wanna say also that I didn't make any like I don't know details into these drawings right now when you're watching them but in the end in the flip through of all the journal I have like more details of course because I don't know why if this happened to you too but I cannot sit in the table and sit straight forward and try to make some details into a page and more if I have a camera on so in my case I'm more productive with details when I'm sitting in the bed or laying down in the bed so that's what I did after so I'm sorry if you're not seeing all the details right now but believe me they were pretty cute in the end so in the flip through you're gonna see all the details of everything as I said 
I'm using like different trackers with combinations of kanjis and normal letters so that's what I'm doing in here random trackers again I don't know why I wanted to do it and if you guys saw my last video of January you guys saw that I made a huge mistake with the stamp from trackers so I don't know why this month I didn't want to use it so the only stamps that I'm using are these ones the small ones they are still pretty dangerous though to make a huge mistake of everything around in the page but they look cute though so I put this white page to prevent that moving into the next spread which is the work in finances spread to keep track of my money so I'm deciding to draw these robots from Laputa from the castle in the sky and they are pretty cute I went to Japan to study Ghibli and they have this giant giant robot in there and I just wanted to draw it in this journal as well it took me a long time too because there are so many details into this drawing but I really like how it turned out in the end and yeah so I tried to do this for the finance area I want to keep track of all the things that I'm buying all the money I'm spending and also the money that I'm having or the income I'm having per month in the right side I'm gonna be drawing Ponyo from Ponyo on the cliff of by the sea I actually haven't watched that movie but someone like many people actually wrote to me on Instagram they were like oh you should draw Ponyo so here it is so I draw it to keep track of Instagram and Etsy as you guys saw I already opened my Etsy shop I'm gonna be selling in there some spreads from like journaling too I haven't posted any yet but I'm working on them to trackers and stuff like that and also the only one that I post yet is for language learning so if you guys want to go and check out my Etsy shop the link is gonna be again in the description box but continuing with this spread I decided to just make it really simple some lines some words a little bit of paper and some washing tape I like how this spread turned out and I want to know let me know in the comments which of all the spreads that I'm gonna be doing today was your favorite or no so yeah this is for this spread of work money finances Instagram and also Etsy Moving on into the next spread of the month because you guys know that the weekly spreads I usually just show it in the flip through so the last one is gonna be the workout and mood tracker you guys know that I love to like track my mood and I like to see all the colors the different colors because <laughs> dude my mood changed a lot always uh, so yeah uh, I'm drawing in here our favorite Totoro from my neighbor Totoro and the small little white Totoro the white one that I don't know the name of that if you know it please let me know but I call it a small Totoro and then I decided to keep my track this time I don't know if you guys saw Totoro and you saw this part when he's trying to grow the plants so that's actually something that I really like because my mood I'm trying to be happy of course and I'm trying to be productive and all of this so I'm growing my mood all the month so I decided to make this leap in here in the other side I tried to use the calcifier from Howl's Moving Castle and it's this just cute little fire flame so I tried to make it like I got inspired on internet I saw this drawing so cute so I tried to draw it and they have like this little heart that is so cute so it kind of goes with the month of February I don't know Valentine's Day and all of that so I decided to add only one circle into this spread that is the one that is giant circle that is gonna be in here in the calcifier but yeah so these two drawings 
and then I decided to draw like random simple like for the workout only workout like 14 days a month because I hate to work out and then I decided for YouTube ideas that is in the flame area I decided to write down the times where most of my subscribers are usually online so I can post my videos on that time so you will see it this weekend and yeah that's basically the spreads of the month so now let's move into seeing the whole flip through including the weekly spreads of February to see how it turned out with all the details So this is all for the video. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I hope you like all my drawings and I hope you also like how I turn out the characters into my spreads. If your character is different from the ones that I draw, please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite character. And if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for future videos future setups and all bullet journaling or language learning and also scholarships around the world which i post every month so thank you so much and see you guys in the next video bye bye